Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your very own audio interface. So a few months ago, I purchased this $100 Focusrite Scarlett Solo audio interface, which is a great audio interface for a small budget home studio setup. And I did an unboxing video of it and I went through a few features, but the one thing I forgot to do was show you how to set it up. And since that unboxing video, I've had so many comments of people saying, please show me how to set it up, go through the whole setup from start to finish. And that's what we're going to do today. So when you purchase a brand new audio interface, in the box you get a few items and these items include the audio interface itself, the cable you use to connect the audio interface to your laptop and some sort of manual just to give you an idea of what the audio interface is all about, some specs and depending on the audio interface you might also get some additional music production software. And the easiest step is the first step in terms of setting up and that is connecting this audio interface to the laptop given the cable they provide. In this case they give us a USB-C to USB-A connection which is pretty new to audio interfaces because usually this USB-C connection was a printer cable but now with new technology it's a USB-C connection instead and on the other side this USB-A connection connects straight into your laptop. So now your audio interface is connected and the first thing you need to look out for is this green light at the top over here. This green light means everything is working perfectly. Your laptop picks up that this is a new sound driver in the whole setup of things. But if this green light is not on, you have to go through a different procedure. And that is actually going into Focusrite's website, downloading the Focusrite Scarlett Solo driver, installing it, and then reconnecting the audio interface. And if you do that, the green light should appear. So now that we physically have our audio interface connected, the next thing we have to do is connect our interface directly to our music production software or DAW. And in my case, I use Cubase. For others using Ableton, FL Studio or Logic, it's very similar. But what you want to do is go into the audio connections of your software. In my case, I go to Studio, it drops down to Studio Setup and it takes me straight to the VST audio system. This will take me straight to a drop down menu of all the sound drivers I have on this laptop. These sound drivers include ACO for all, Focusrite Thunderbolt ACO, Focusrite USB ACO, generic low latency ACO driver, which is the general one for Windows, Realtek ACO and voice meter virtual ACO. So these are all the sound drivers I have on my laptop right now. But because we're using a Focusrite USB audio interface, we want to click on the Focusrite USB ACO and then say OK. And it is connected. So now that your audio interface is connected physically and in your music production software, everything is working fine and your audio interface is efficiently set up. So that brings me to the end of this video of how to set up an audio interface focusing on the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time.